third Demon fucking attempt. <laughs> third <laughs> well, attempt. Let's see if it, it's hopefully not the desk and uh, it's just my GameCube getting old again. I've had, I've had, old. yeah, my GameCube is old. It's, it's almost twenty years old. Mine's about that too, actually. Uh, it's uh, it's quite depressing, actually. Right yeah, what do you think about it like that? Buddy. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> It's sort of the duration of Halloween Fest. Uh, for, well, a game for Halloween Fest, I should say. Yeah. You know, I'm not playing the game, Elliot. Is, I'm playing this. You forgot the introduction. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Elliot. It's too late, Elliot. It's too late, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. We come to understand. Yeah, I understand that this is also security. Uh, security. This is a security. <laughs> You're being this is eternal dark. <laughs> You're being thrown out the building. <laughs> You've been here for too long. Huh? The bar closed two hours ago. For Eternal Darkness to say it wouldn't make sense that Elliot doesn't do it. It makes sense that Elliot is not the Elliot we know. <laughs> he would have gotten it right. Elliot, so you've been meaning to do this game for uh, Halloween Fest specifically for some time now. Seven years. Uh, it hasn't been that long. Like, since the inception of SGB. <laughs> Elliot's been wanting to do this longer than I've been wanting to do Saints Row 2. It yeah. hasn't been that long. And as long as I've been wanting to do Ill Bleed for uh, Halloween Fest as well. That's, that game's just really long. It's, yeah, that's the problem is the game. The Oblate's long. Like, that's a very long game. But, yeah, I've been wanting to play this for quite a bit for Halloween Fest. And I think now, I think, um, I'm just glad we can finally get to it. Yeah, uh, assuming the game doesn't skip or anything like that. Yeah, the, the reason we say this is the third attempt is because you watched yesterday's part. You know what it is. How's well, at least it, it's a bonus part, I would say. Well, yeah. a, a bonus uh, add-on to supplement this. I, w I wouldn't let have one go before the other. Yeah. Uh, I would just say, like, here's the outtakes for this. The first <laughs> attempt, and second attempt, and now here's the real deal. It'll probably be up on Thursday. I don't know. Hopefully it's the real deal because, yeah, uh, third attempt in a way that we were trying to record this game off the original hardware, the GameCube. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the audio and the video would start skipping. Uh, and during, then stopping. Yeah, doing the real, uh, uh, real time cutscenes, not the FMVs. The FMVs were fine. Uh, but, but like during gameplay, when yeah. like I I like went through a door, it fucking crashed. Yeah, and we weren't sure if this was just the game fucking with us, <laughs> but then we realized, no, okay, no, this is actually a the hardware. game is this fucking. Is a, this is a hardware issue, mm -hmm. not part of the illusion. Uh, so we uh, dusted off, literally dusted off the. Oh wing. wait, it's in slot B. Uh, just load it from slot load it B. From there. Oh, do you want me to actually load it? Uh, yeah, because we did technically show off the part of the game, so we can just continue from here. Okay, so. Uh, oh wait, I like this. <laughs> if that actually stays long enough, it loops. Oh, oh does oh. it? Oh, damn. Okay, back to the past again. Yeah. Well, we're, now we're technically we're in the present. No, I'm saying we got to go back to the past again. Oh man, it's dark. <laughs> It is actually dark on here. Hold on. I can actually adjust that. It's diddly dark. Oh, this game has 16 by 9. Yep. Really? Actually, One can, thing you, can, you, can you change that, please? Because we're recording this in uh, widescreen. Yeah, that'll look better for the video. That looks very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, save. Oh, cool. I thought Star Fox Adventures was like the only one, the only GameCube game that did that. Okay, yeah, this is better. Yeah. It is? It just made your hallway look way tighter. No, I mean the brightness. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I understand that because I like a dark game, but I also have that thing where the like, dark ambience gets it, draws a line between ambient for the game and I can't see what the fuck like I'm doing. Like there, there yeah. is a, there is such a thing as too dark. Um, to me, the go-to example of that, Metal Gear Solid Three. Yeah. When you're in that dank cave with the crabs. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, right before you fight the pain, I believe it is. Crab yes, sir. battle. Uh, that is I. If you have just a small amount of glare in your TV screen, you're not seeing shit. You also have the night vision goggles by that point, though, I believe. Yeah, but still. Yeah, only, th only thing about the, about being 60 by 9, though, is the cuts, F is the FMVs. Because well, they're filmed, like, the FMVs are filmed, like, with a, a 4 3 ratio. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing with Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Yeah, basically. We'll also change you. Okay. Oh, no. As you read this, you will come to learn fear as I have. You too. Will come to understand. Okay, so far so good. Or you will perish. Yeah, no skipping. To think that once I could not see beyond the veil of our reality. Yeah, so far so good. To see those who dwell behind. Hmm. My life now has purpose. Yep, it did your grandfather's fan fiction. <laughs> <flesh> <laughs> and bone. 
All right, so we're so we're still playing as as Pius Augustus from ancient Persia, 26 BC. I still like Pius Augustus. Pius Augustus, yeah. I actually, is this is legitimate per is this legitimate speech for them? Then good, then good shit on the effort. I love that. Yeah, they couldn't keep, they couldn't cheap out Google Translate just yet. I totally would have done that. And then it just transitions into English. English yeah. <laughs> At first, the first time I heard that, I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Okay, that's enough culture for now. Ah, uh, I see. So they did it at first, and then they fucking shit the bed later. <laughs> it's like, okay, I think a paragraph is enough from a different language. I'm tired. <laughs> Let's go right? back to English, please. <laughs> it does it right? a few times, actually. It's, it'd be like if Yakuza pulled that shit, but thankfully it doesn't. The funny thing, though, with this game in terms of voice actors, they got plenty of MGS voice actors. Uh, Considering they're working in the same Cam game, Clark is in it. Cam Clark. Uh, oh, cool. Liquid. Who's Liquid in this game? The, the voice of uh, um, uh, Colonel Roy Campbell. He's also Kratosaurian. Um, Symphonia. We, right, uh, we also had Jennifer Hale. Yeah. Uh, I believe the voice of Mei Ling is actually in here, too. Which Mei Ling? Uh, Twin Snakes. Oh, okay, so not my Mei Ling. No, not your Mei Ling. <laughs> the one that... I'm sorry. <laughs> to me, the best Mei Ling is always going to be original MGS. Mei Ling. I don't. I don't. I do not blame you Where because she had the Chinese accent. Yeah, it yeah. works. You know? As was in the next one, it's like Kyrie Tanaga in Metal Gear Solid Four. That helps solve fish. <laughs> 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 ah, Kyrie's Japanese. Not the point I'm making. All of a sudden, a misshapen oh. pentagram or pentagon in this case. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the origins of the pentagon. <laughs> <laughs> And we're back in 16 by 9. Hey. Hey there. <laughs> you say date, you say date, you say date. <laughs> Day-o. <laughs> Should I climb, climb down the ladder? Yes. I can't see down there. Oh, fuck. Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I don't have a choice. Okay. <laughs> so we're here again. I don't think we're going to have any problems because I think... We yeah. should have experienced some problems by now. I, I think we're I think we're pretty much good to go. So now we can have the game properly fuck us. Exactly. Uh, in, in terms of like uh, strange shit that we can uh, experience in this game, which is uh, which is I mean let's let's head into that. It's the one thing that I, I said before in the beginning of this uh, introduction. In the, well, in the first introduction anyway, that the one thing that everyone just shares about this game's uh, uh, gameplay mechanics is the insanity meter or your sanity meter. Uh, and if it starts getting dangerously low, the game starts, fucking, game starts with fucking with you, like big time. It can. It goes from it goes from various reaches within the game itself to even meta shit outside of the game. Like yeah. your GameCube can look like it's fucking shit in the bed, or like blue screen, right? Basically, you know. I, considering that, <laughs> kind of wonder how that's gonna work on the Wii. Yeah. Uh, well, no, because again. I don't feel, I feel like it would really matter because it, it, it's all stuff built within the game's programming itself. Yeah. Just so. to become the no fun programming knowledge. <laughs> never there. It was like, oh, it's all matte paintings, mirrors, and smokes. And it's like, yeah, thanks, asshole. Seriously? <laughs> all right, now we got our second granite block. I am fucking saving. I am saving because I am not risking this shit. What's going to happen? You're going to smack him against your head? Because like, I got, I, we're spoiled with auto saving, you know. Yeah, we we take it so much. Oh, for I, like, I thought there was like there was an upcoming section saying that you're not looking forward to, and it's like the fucking that's the fucking Animusha water puzzle. Yeah, yeah. I always say before that. Dude, there's so many of these. The sound is the sound direction is really good too. Yeah, it's great. It's very juicy. Very juicy. I didn't want to pick up the granite block, but okay, I guess I'll guess I'll grab it while on the way to stab him. Well, I mean, it sounds like and I mean, it, looks it looks like, like they're already bored. Yeah. No, they don't. They they don't. Oh, know. they can't see. Well, yeah, they're headless. Oh, yeah. I mean, but they're still animated skeletons. <laughs> they ain't gonna come towards you. If what they can't what see does what a head really matter in the grand scheme of things? In terms a of all lot. In terms of these, not really, not really much. Yorick would disagree. Un unless unless the demons unless they're being controlled properly by a necromancer. It would mean a lot. They still need to see where the hell you are. I can't speak from experience. I've never been a in Death Skeleton, so. One thing that like will kind of get you the first time you're playing this is every time you'd actually see fire pops, like in torches. Fire pops? Yeah. The sound of a the sound of a roaring fire. Like 
Once we find our torch, like, you'll, you'll know what I mean. I'm sure this game has, like, predetermined, like, scares at some point or another. Like, you don't necessarily need to have the uh, sanity Ooh, meter no verbal block. drained already. There it is. Wait, say that again, Jen? Uh, I I'm sure this game has, like, predetermined scares like, I... along the pathway. In the main quest, when you play as Alex, yes. Oh, is, so is there a sanity meter here at all? Uh, currently, not yet. Not, not yet. for your character. So it's anyone. not introduced yet. Not yet. It will be. Yeah, it's like back in the day, they ain't give a shit that they saw a skeleton. It just means you're gonna catch them. You're gonna catch more hands in your in your death than you did in your life. So wait, I have to ask though. Like sanity meter aside, like what kind of game is Eternal Darkness? Because if I were to play this game for the first time, and I, you know, we start with this. I would think it's like a beat em up, like a hack and slash. That's what we're seeing so far. You know? But is that what the game is in its entirely, entirety? More so, it, it, a bit, yeah. It's also like kind of like psychological horror as well. All right, so we got those granite blocks. So let's put them to use and put them in the right holes. If you put them in the wrong hole, do you get punched? <laughs> it's like, no, you can't <laughs> use this. Just this fist comes out of the hole. <laughs> 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 Try again, dipshit. <laughs> It's like putting a square hole in the round. It's putting it's putting a round a round a circle in a square hole. God damn it! No, uh, no it's like, but the the more you consecutively get wrong, uh, the hand will continuously pop up. But now, like a guy like Pius will anticipate it and yeah. like do like the three stooges like eye guard, but then it pokes him in the eyes anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all. Actually, of them. you know what I'm? I kind of really thought of for like an increasing aggravation thing in what? the last Five Nights game. Freddy, one of the Freddies, at first when it would talk to ask you, but like you'd be like, "Please deposit five coins." Oh, and then it gets more aggressive. And it's like, "Please deposit five, five coins, coins. fucker." Please <laughs> deposit five coins. <laughs> All right. Please deposit five coins. Please deposit five coins. Coins. <laughs> no, don't stick your dick in that. Five <laughs> coins. <laughs> Please oh. deposit 10 coins. <laughs> Sign <out. laughs> yep. The Pius. premium one. <laughs> you must prove your worth by destroying the statue. Oh, great. Street Fighter 2. So this pretty much tells you how to actually like aim like at certain body parts. Which you already know how to do. So Yeah. I practiced. <laughs> Take that statue. Take that me. Mm, it's so much easier when they don't fight back. I know, right? Oh, no crackles of fire. Harry Potter and the Crackle of Fire. Oh, fuck. Hi. I like Harry Potter and the Revenge of Montezuma. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very underrated prequel. And it is. It's also really tragic when you, get, when you realize what Montezuma's <laughs> revenge is. What is it? It's a disease. Okay. What's the disease? Pretty grim shit. I don't have that on me right now. I'm not a WebMD, but... Uh, I don't know. I just like the sound of it. <laughs> I know, Montezuma's Revenge. That sounds fucking nasty as Man, shit. Man, I don't know. You say you're not a WebMD, yet you have a phone. I know, but it's recording the time you forgot to start. Oh, uh, just like the phrasing. How am that. I supposed to start the time when I'm playing, dipshit? You start the time, you hand the phone to me, and then you fucking play the game, dipshit. That's a lot of work. <laughs> just to not start the timer on your phone. I'm it. not going to lie. But, uh... Teleportation would scare the shit out of me. All right. Yeah, because what's to say you're guaranteed to come out looking the same way at the other end? Exactly. You look like you ever see a Yu Yu Hakusho's Genbu? Like I've you take seen... the red stone, you take the red stone, and all of a sudden your fucking head is on your testicles. <laughs> I, I've seen Galaxy Quest. Okay, so we pretty much reached the end of Pius's journey. So we gotta pick which god are we gonna face? Which god? Which god's the easiest? Uh, I don't think there's a difference with them, but like it pretty much determines like which god is gonna be like the main one that's gonna be the threat in the story. Interesting. Oh, so you can choose between three. Yep. Does it add real replay value or? It kind of does because they're all different. They are different gods. But, but what does that ultimately mean, though? Does it is it does it do the does it do the shadow memories thing where if you pick this he's wearing a red dress and if not he's wearing a pink dress <laughs> or is it severe? Well, in terms of that? gameplay, the god you choose will ha have you start off with that base um, spell uh, rune that you can have hmm. because there is magic and spells to be used here. Well, why don't you pick a god then? Pick a god and pray. Let's go green. Save the earth, kids. Why can't you take all three? Yeah, Link could take all three spiritual stones. <laughs> They're the same colors, too, I think. Yeah, they are. 
It's RGB. I imagine you picked the right one with the light when it just came right out of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's coming out of his eyes and his mouth. Why not his ass? That's a hole. <laughs> Ooh. That's a hole. <laughs> well, shit. You need something to drink, buddy. You're yeah, a little dehydrated. Yeah, a little, just a little dehydrated. Where's your hydrate bot? Where is the old hydrate bot? <laughs> <laughs> and there we are. Cursed. Eons have passed since then. No, that's Aeon. I, Shut up. Much. I thought it was spelled with E-O-N, not A-E-O-N. That's Aeon. A child. I know. I my mind is sharp. Sharp. With the power of Zelatoth. And that's the god. We're, that's the god. Zelatoth? Zelatoth, yeah. Zelatoth. There's also Ulioth and Chaturga. Chaturga. Chaturga, 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 Chaturga. Well, you hear the Dutch in that. Chaturga. <laughs> And now we have the Tome of Eternal Darkness. And there's our next page, actually. The Binding of the Corpse God. Oh, good. Oh, God, it's a Thievius Raccoonus. Let's save. <laughs>